Oh my god, you guys are- you got engaged? When? Oh! Oh my- yeah, I'm so happy for you guys. That, you guys are amazing together. I'm just... Speechless. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! Ah, that's so, so exciting. <laughs> okay, yeah, make your calls. Go, go ahead, girl. Do your, do your thing. Okay. Okay, love you. Okay, I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, okay, bye. <laughs> Hi, can I get a medium iced coffee? They're a dollar, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, that'll be all. <laughs> you fucking dumb me, bro. Like, I, feel, I don't even know what to do anymore. <laughs> I'm just so upset. <laughs> Hello. 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 Are you kidding me? I'm pregnant again? Bro, how many kids do you need? I'm 25, you're on like baby number three. Life and I'm now I'm just here and I'm just like oh. Oh. Ow. Oh. Thank you. I'll be paying by debit. Okay. Sorry, your card was declined. It says insufficient funds. Oh, okay. Um, let me just transfer it from my checkings to my savings. Hold on one second, sorry. Oh my god. I think I have, I have to change, I think. Um, sorry. You know what, don't worry about it. It's on us today. Okay. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Welcome to your 20s, the best years of your life. Or so I thought, until I actually entered my 20s and I was like, ooh, get me out the trenches. What, what in the ghetto, what is this? It's confusing, you're tired all the time, your body's changing, you're broke, you don't know who you are, you lose your friends, you go through heartbreak, it's just, it's a mess. Half your friends don't have their shit together. The other half have houses, babies, and rings. And you're like, where do I fit in? You don't know what you want to do with your life, or you do, but instead you are at some job that you don't like. It's just a hot mess. Unless you're one of the lucky ones, can't relate to you, but wish you the best. Glad you're thriving. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not thriving. I'm very grateful for everything that I have, but I'm just saying like, <laughs> your 20s? <laughs> Okay, let's get into it. So as you saw my intro, that was a little example of my life as a 20-something. I'm 26 years old, turning 27 on February 15th. And honestly, that was my true life. Like everything about that little skit is just exactly, okay, minus the $1 decline transaction. <laughs> however, however, there was a day that I tried to buy a lighter and it was like 260 and I got declined, but it was only because I put all my money in my savings and <laughs> I try to avoid having money in my checking account. A, because I've gotten my card stolen before, and B, I like to think that it stops me from spending, but really all I do is transfer from my savings to my checkings, you know? So you know what? That kind of was based on a true story. <laughs> Anyways, so today I want to talk about why your 20s are the worst years of your life. Popular to contrary belief, I don't know. Do people think it's the best years of your life? Because I feel like I've heard that. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, you know? Maybe I, I missed a chapter, I don't know. All I know is that um, it's been quite the time and I'm looking forward to my 30s, you know? I don't know, people say that your 30s are like the best years, people say your 20s, people say your high school years, I'm like, high school? Do we, mm -hmm. Anyways, okay, so let's talk about it. I want to talk about 10 reasons why your 20s are the worst years of your life. Let's start off strong. You're broke. Someone had to say it. Are we all just like pretending to get by? Are we all just 
pretending to have it all together or do we actually have it together? If we actually have it together, I'm just kidding, obviously I do too. No, I have gone through so many moments where I'm like, I don't even like to joke about being broke. I feel like that makes it manifest into your life. But I mean, like we're all not financially where we want to be. I feel broke means something different to everybody. And I just feel like none of us are doing or making what we thought we would in our 20s, but that's reality, you know? Like, I'm not gonna be making six figures a year at 25, ooh, 26, <laughs> at 26 years old. I'm not saying it's impossible, it's obviously very, very possible, but, you know, we all have dreams and ambitions when we're young and then we get in our 20s and we realize that like shit doesn't always work out the way we want it to. In your 20s, there's lots of transitional periods. You know, you're switching over from your parents paying a lot of your bills to you're paying your own bills now. Maybe you have school tuition you got to pay off. Maybe you now have a car note that you have to pay off. Maybe you moved out and you have rent, you know, like for me, I have a lot of high expenses and I'm an adult, I'm in my 20s, I gotta pay that shit, you know? I feel like a lot of people put on a front and that's why I like to stay off of social media sometimes or just like not allow it to consume me because it makes me feel like I'm not doing enough or I'm not making enough or, or I don't have these things so obviously I'm not as successful as the next person but none of that's true, none of it is true. I'm doing just fine but you know, we all get caught up in our heads when we're online so yeah i mean in your 20s you're not supposed to be rich so if you're in your 20s and you feel like you don't have your shit together you're not supposed to i swear to you you're not <laughs> number two good old heartbreak i feel like in our 20s we all go through some type of heartbreak whether it's high school sweethearts breaking up a fling a little boy toy you know we all have that heartbreak in our 20s i feel and i mean obviously you guys know i had mine I mean, I went through my breakup recently, but I think my heartbreak was actually last year. That was like the intense heartbreak that I felt at 25. And it wasn't fun. I was very open about it on my channel. Heartbreak's not easy, but I think it builds character and everybody needs a good old heartbreak in their lives to become the best version of themselves. I truly, truly believe that. So like my friend is, you know, with her high school sweetheart and she's never gone through heartbreak and I pray she doesn't have to go through it, but I'm also like, damn, like, how many lessons is she missing out on? No shade to you. But how many lessons are you missing out on when you don't go through a heartbreak? Because through heartbreak, you learn so much about yourself. It's insane. You want to make all these changes suddenly. It's like your world opens up. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know how to explain it. But if you've gone through it, you know. The person that you started that relationship as is not the person that you left the relationship as. It's a whole new person. And that person is different from the person today because all the growth that's happened through your pain and your grief has changed you so yeah heartbreak definitely is a part of your 20s and it's not the fun part at all it's torture but um we all need a little little heartbreak number three friendship breakups yeah you're gonna lose a lot of friends mm -hmm. you're gonna lose a lot of high school friends at 21 um or 20 you're gonna lose a lot of old work friends when you move jobs you get promoted or something and you're gonna lose a lot of childhood friends you're just gonna lose friends you're gonna make a friend one year and you're gonna have a falling out the next year it's a little confusing it's inconsistent it's it's your 20s <laughs> that's what it is so it's normal it sucks self-awareness definitely something that i discovered in my 20s i think at 23 22 is when i started to become self-aware and it changed my life I think all of the hardships you go through in your 20s build your self-awareness and your self-awareness builds your self-love. So it's a beautiful thing that comes with your 20s, but self-awareness really comes from your shadow side, I find. So you only learn about yourself when something happens. I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but I think it's usually like a big event that triggers something in you that allows you to become more self-aware. So it usually comes with some turmoil, but it's worth it because it builds a lot of self-love and just knowing yourself is really important you don't know who you are when you're a teenager at all you barely know when you're in your 20s but you're getting there and it feels good and it feels different but i guess as you grow and age you evolve spiritually mentally all those so i just wonder what is to come in my 30s and how much i'll learn about myself that i'll be like damn i thought i knew myself at 25 <laughs> You know, it's crazy. Number five is the comparison that happens and the imposter syndrome and all the things that come with seeing people around you living the life that you feel like you should live even if you don't want it. 
So for example, this girl over here is pregnant on her third kid. This girl over here is getting engaged. This guy just bought a home with his partner. You know, this person just started a business. And you're just like, damn, I just quit my job. I'm unemployed. I live in my parents' house, you know? And you're just like, what am I supposed to be doing? It's the comparison that comes with everybody being in different phases of life because yeah, half the people you know are doing all those things, but the other half are, you know, working jobs that they hate or working minimum wage or living in their parents' basement or just living in their childhood bedroom. And there's nothing wrong with these things. You're in your 20s, it's supposed to be like this. It's unpredictable. You don't know what side of the spectrum you're gonna end up on and it is what it is. I thought I would still be living with my parents right now, but I've been out of the house for two years now and that's crazy. I also thought I'd be working a corporate job. I'm not. You really just don't know what's gonna happen. So there's no point in getting caught up on what's happening in other people's lives. You gotta figure out what's happening in your own life. Number six, confusion. Confusion, period. Confusion over boys, over women, over friends, over everything. Like, you don't know anything. Everything you thought you knew, you don't. So you have to like relearn a lot of things as you navigate through your 20s. A lot of beliefs that you thought you had, you realize are actually just instilled by your parents and you don't agree with certain things. And you're like, damn, I have to like reparent myself in certain areas of my life. You have to rediscover certain things. It's a lot. You also, sometimes you might be working a job and you realize like six months in or six years in that like, hey, I don't think I like what I do for a living. And then you gotta start over or you don't and you're just confused. Like, what should I do? It's just a whole lot of confusion. Number seven, feeling old as shit, even though we are the youngest we'll ever be for the rest of our lives. Think about it, no matter what age you are, you're the youngest you'll ever be for the rest of your life. Isn't that weird? So as a 20 something, sometimes I feel old when I'm on TikTok or if I'm talking to a Gen Z or if I'm like, I don't know, in public and I just hear a bunch of Gen Z people talking, I feel so old and it's really weird. It trips me out because I'm like, oh my, oh my God, I'm not that old, but I feel like a grandma and it, it's weird because you're not used to feeling that way. You're used to being like the loud kids on the back of the bus making noise and disrupting people, but now you're the adult with your headphones in glaring at the teenagers like, can you guys be quiet? Like, damn, like, what are you laughing at? You blink and suddenly you're the adult and it's, it's weird and you feel really old. We're not old, we're not, we're not, okay? We can, we can all relax. Oh, number eight, your body changes. It's weird. Suddenly you can't stretch the way that you used to and you're like, oh, whoa, what's going on over there in my thigh? Why is it burning? Why is this happening? Your stamina's changed, you wake up and you feel different. Like you feel stuffy and you feel congested or you feel like your back is tense. Like you feel different, your body feels different. You can't move the way that you used to. Your energy levels are not the same. Suddenly you need coffee. I didn't drink coffee until I hit like 20, 21. I had it for fun, like at like Starbucks, but I didn't actually drink coffee the way I do now. I didn't need it because I had energy. Super easy mundane tasks suddenly require so much effort like walking up a flight of stairs, you're like, oh, I'm getting old. It's really weird, your body just changes, especially if you're not working out or stretching or anything. You're gonna realize when you do certain things, muscles are being pulled now and, and it's different. Your body is different, even your breathing, maybe you'll start snoring in your mid-20s. I don't, thank God, but it, it's just weird. It's really weird and I'm still not used to that. I'm not, okay. Nine is a little depressing. Um, it has to do with your parents. So there's two parts to this. One of them is that as you get older, you learn a lot about your family secrets and your parents' li lives and things like that. And suddenly you don't see them as like just your parents. You see them as humans, as flawed individuals. And it's really weird because you start to see your parents for who they are rather than your parents. And it's not always a bad thing. Like for me, it's not a bad thing. It's just really weird because I'm like, wow, like you're your own person. Like you're not just my mom, you're not just my dad. Like you're actually, you know, you, you have your own issues, you have your own insecurities, you have your flaws. And it's really weird when you start to notice that. Another weird thing about like getting older is that like your parents are getting older too. And you're gonna blink one day and you're gonna notice that your parents have like a lot of gray hair or like they suddenly, oh my God, why do I wanna cry? <laughs> Oh my God, oh my God, why am I crying? It's just really emotional. Like you just start looking at them and you're like, wow, like you look so much older. 
and then you start thinking about like the future and like what's gonna happen. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Fuck. The vulnerability is crazy out here. Oh, damn, I should have saved that one for last. <laughs> But yeah, that one's really scary and sad and beautiful and just weird. Cause yeah, and like you start getting worried about, oh, there's a fluff, certain things. Like if something happens to your parents, like a small little injury, you get way more worried because you're like, they're getting older. And that is, is so scary. Lastly, no matter where you're at in life, you feel behind. No matter who you are, no matter what you're doing, you could be logan paul and you probably feel behind me as the person that i am doing what i love for a living published book podcast youtube channels like i feel so behind and it's crazy because like i feel like i've accomplished a lot you know it's the imposter syndrome kicking in if you don't know what that is you need to watch my video on imposter syndrome it's one of my best videos but it got like no views but i'm so proud of it and i think everyone needs to know what imposter syndrome is please go on my channel and watch it if you haven't i swear to you you're gonna like your mind's gonna open you're gonna be like Damn, that's why I do that. So anyways, that was just a side note, but the imposter syndrome will kick in and you're gonna feel like you're not doing enough and that happens to me and I'm like, no, I've done a lot. I'm proud of myself, but it's so hard not to just feel behind in life because your 20s, it's like you're on this hamster wheel and you're, it's like you're constantly playing catch up. It's just exhausting and I don't know when it ends. I don't know when it ends because, I mean, maybe in your 30s, but I don't know, man. Anyways, that was my video on why your 20s suck and why they're the worst years of your life and I can't wait to get out of this hell hole. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not that dramatic, I'm just kidding. Um, but no, in all seriousness, that is why your 20s suck. If you're a teenager and looking forward to your 20s, there's a lot of great that comes with being in your 20s. It's fun, it's great, you're more beautiful, you're more confident, you're, you know, like, you feel good in a lot of ways, but it definitely has its bad moments. I would say more bad than good. I will not lie to you, but if you're entering your 20s, welcome. If you're in your 20s, and if you're 30 and flirty and thriving, I'm very happy for you and I'll be there soon. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what stage of life you're in and what that's like for you. I'm curious whether in your 20s, do you relate? Let me know if you relate. If you're a teenager, what are your thoughts on like life as a teen and going into your 20s? I wanna hear where you're at in your journey of life and um, I don't know, just like spill some tea, let's chat, let's chit chat, you know? Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.